What the heck? Here's my uh, coaxial cable. And uh, I fished it down the wall and it wasn't as, it's way more flexible than the electrical wire. And so I took my nail puller and I just taped it on there for some weight and I dropped it down and there it is. Now, I have to get some DVD cables down here too. So what I'll end up doing is I'll pull this coaxial cable all the way through and I'll tape the other end with the, uh, the DVD wires and I'll pull this down there, I guess. I'll have to figure something out. Um, or maybe I can pull this back up the wall and tape them all together because I want to get them all down. If you remember, this has an end to it. Right here. I'm gonna come out of this wall and it's gonna screw right on here for the TV. And that's how I'm gonna do that. Okay, before you pull this type of uh, cable down the wall, put some, put some uh, electrical tape over the tip. You don't wanna mess up anything on the inside of that. Here's what's going to hook on the back of the TV. See these three prongs. And it comes in a wire form. And I got that plenty long, so it's going to go from the TV and it's going to come down through here too. Then I have to have it long enough out of there to come back up um, on top of a dresser. Okay? So I hope I got a piece long enough. It's 12 feet long. And I think that's going to be all right. Now, do they have cables like this that are longer than 12 feet long? I don't know. They might. But I couldn't find one at the store. You might be able to get it at an at a, uh, electrical um, specialty store or something like that. And... Uh, you know, you don't have to just have 12 feet because you may have to go longer than that or shorter than that. You just have to figure it out and get your materials for your project because your project may be slightly different than mine. Okay, keep that in mind. Now we're getting somewhere. There's those two. About ready to start making up the electrical. But see here, here's my, uh, my cable for the DVD. And then my other cable that screws to the back side of the TV for the actual cable TV. And this is if you want a DVD player. Now I can plug that in. I don't have to have that cord showing either. Down the wall, being exposed, you know. Got the same thing down there. And once I put a cover plate on there, I'll have a round hole in the middle of it. And I'll squeeze both of these wires out through the middle hole. It's going to be kind of tricky because, see, on the end of this black cord, I've got three prongs here. They're going to go to the DVD hooked up on top of a dresser. And um, I've got to get those through the hole. So I'll drill a hole, shove one through, then another one, you know, kind of like like that and then the next pull those two through and then another one but either way the hole is going to be bigger than I need then I'll have to put some caulking over it but see this one here it's just going to wrap up and it can wrap like that or I can push some up the wall and then I can have it come out right there I can have this pushed back no different than anything else and have this loop down there like that or whatever be behind a dresser and plugged into there. Look at that. I think it's going to work. <laughs> 